everyone welcome to my channel this is my very first semester at sea video and like one of my very first youtube videos but i'm hoping to show you guys what it's like to pack for four months to live on a boat or a ship i guess um for future voyagers i watched a ton of these videos when i was getting prepared to go on semester at sea so this is my pack with me video showing you how i packed to live on the world odyssey for four months visiting 11 countries so i've done a lot of shopping in the last few days that's why there's like tons of stuff behind me ignore the background it's like super messy but i'm gonna take you guys through kind of what i am packing and how i'm packing i'm gonna show you guys a quick little overview of what this room looks like because it's so much chaos it's like everything i got for christmas all my snacks all my clothes things like that but i literally leave tomorrow so I am driving to Houston tomorrow morning. I fly out around 7 p.m. from the Houston airport and I'm flying 14 hours straight directly to Dubai. My voyage is taking off in Dubai on January 5th. Today is December 31st and I leave tomorrow January 1st. So I'm literally waiting until the last possible second. Wish me luck. This is what we have all laid out. Here's like tons of snacks and things that I bought at the grocery store. This box is like some Christmas gifts. And then this is a bunch of stuff I ordered on Amazon. So I have um, just like random stuff like a computer case, like my scrubba. Um, I have like my HDMI cord, different things like that. And then over here is my luggage. There's my dog. I got two bags. This is the first one. It's an LL Bean duffel, rolling duffel bag. That This is the large size, I think. It's pretty big. Hopefully it'll fit enough of my stuff. And then I got this Samsonite bag that was on sale. It's a little bit smaller, but it has like a drop bottom to put shoes in. So hopefully between these two bags and like my carry-ons, I can fit everything. A little nervous about fitting everything in my bags and I'm super behind on packing. So wish me luck. I think on my flight to Dubai, I can take two 70 pound bags so it's not about weight it's about space in the bags that i'm worried about so we'll see how this goes okay it's a little while later and i've started packing into these like packing cubes i'll show you guys what i put in them but i just packed this huge packing cube it has like all these dresses flowy pants some tops some flowy shorts some jean shorts stuff like that and i bought these like space saving bags on amazon so i'm gonna try to put everything that is in there into the space saving bag and see if it's like better. Okay, pause in the action. I just took a few things out that I might wear in Dubai just because it says you can't like, obviously once you open it, like you can't re close it up so i want to keep it closed until i get on the ship so i'm going to take out just a few dresses but i'm going to reseal it now okay i literally took all the air out of this it's like a brick which i can't really tell if this is less space than like the packing cube was but we're gonna see i feel like if i do a few of these we actually might save a lot of space so now that i know how it works i'm gonna try this for a few other things in my bag and i'll keep you all updated okay so i have two chunky like cable knit sweaters that are kind of bulky i have this like lightweight sweater from american eagle i have this like free people like long sleeve pretty like magenta pullover it's not really a jacket it's more of like a sweater I have a hoodie that I like and then this pullover that I like. Um, I think these are the only two jackets I'm bringing except like a coat and a like Lululemon like light pullover kind of thing. So I'm going to try to put all of this in one of those bags to save some room like I did on that one. <laughs> Okay, I was able to fit all of that in this and I feel like there's so much clothes in both of those or so many items So I feel like this was a pretty good Investment because I feel like I can fit a few of those in there for sure So this is almost all of my clothes, which I'll show you what I packed in each thing in just a minute But kind of crazy that it's only this much. I thought it'd be a lot more but we'll see once i try to pack it i'm gonna start showing you guys what i put into the different packing cubes i think i've gotten all my clothes which is actually really shocking i feel like this moment would never come but i'm gonna show you guys this one that i have open right now okay so this first packing cube i'm showing you is actually the most unorganized one i have a pair of flare leggings that i didn't get to pack with the rest of my leggings two free people movement tops just in case i want to work out or wear those this really fun top i got from target um, this leather jacket, it's really thin, didn't fit in any of my other ones. Um, this is just like a plain top I also got from Target. It's a little bit more like modest. Um, and then a pair of orange sweatpants. So I'm going to fold this up and this is just going to be like a random 
cube that like has some leftover stuff that didn't fit elsewhere. It's gonna be cold in some countries near the equator, like in Kenya and India, it's gonna be like 70s, 80s. So I'm kind of packing for literally everything, like dresses, but also like coats because and sweaters because I'm like, don't really know. I know that the ship is really cold, so I'm okay packing a lot of like pullovers and sweatshirts and sweatpants. So we'll see. This packing cube, I just showed you guys me packing it. It's like the sweaters and the jackets, pullovers. This packing cube actually has a ton in it. It's super heavy. It's like three or four dresses, a pair of denim shorts, two pairs of flowy shorts, two skirts, two pairs of like linen pants, a romper. This next packing cube is pretty big, pretty stuffed tight. So I'm not going to take everything out of it. But this is a lot of like my nice tops. So I have like a nice white top green top i have this like long sleeve free people top i like these are like more like fancy going out another casual top i have some like plain shirts so this is like a silky button down i have one of my favorite dresses that i took out of that like vacuum sealed bag that i might wear in dubai i think down underneath this i packed like my most basic top so i have like a black bodysuit um this is like a long sleeve white top my next packing cube is my bottoms i have a pair of leather pants a pair of um, Abercrombie denim jeans, a pair of black jeans, some trousers I just got yesterday that are like cream colored, and then one more pair of like ripped denim. This right here is just a jacket I got for Christmas. It's already in like a vacuum sealed bag, so I'm just gonna keep it in this. It's just like a gray zip up hoodie. And here I have my dress for the alumni ball, and then in the back I also stuck two um, swimsuit cover ups. This packing cube has a few t shirts, a few like sleep shorts, um, two pairs, or actually three pairs of like sleeping bottoms, and one pair of like flannel pajama pants. Okay, last two. This one I literally cannot open because it is so tight, but I have. Four pairs of leggings, three pairs of athletic shorts, um, like four or five Lulu tops to like work out and wear, um, a Lulu jacket, and then a scuba on top. Then last bag has two one-piece swimsuits, two two-piece swimsuits, and then all my bras, socks, and underwear. Okay, I'm gonna start trying to move some of these bags into my first duffel, but I wanna show you guys, I got these Apple tags. Oh probably not good to do that got these apple tags off of amazon and i got these little like holders for them so i'm gonna put one in each bag so i'm able to track it in case i lose my luggage i'm attempting to close the draw bottom of this bag i put a pair of sandals the t-shirt packing cube this like big packing cube with like flowy pants i put a pair of like foam shower shoes these white sneakers um these other white sneakers and then my Birkenstocks and we're gonna try to close this. I had to trade out the packing cube that I put in there and take this out, but I'm kind of getting worried. I feel like this bag has like not as much room as I expected it to have. So we're gonna have to fit more in that one and now I'm stressing. Literally sweating. I can't tell if I bought bad bags for this or if like I'm packing too much probably one of those. Um, but I'm gonna show you what I have so far. I'm kind of getting really nervous about space though. I packed all of my clothes and my shoes. I have a bunch of stuff in here. I have like this much space left in here. I have this much space left, like the top part, but it's like pretty shallow. And then in here, I'm gonna put one packing cube. I filled the bottom of my weekender bag with clothes, but I have the top left, but I still wanna pack snacks and toiletries and everything else. So pray for me. Okay, I've moved the mess to my bathroom. I will show you what we have going on. So in this big toiletry bag, I have pimple patches, some hair ties. These are like some sample size products. Wet wipes, which I'm gonna try to just like fold right here. In this thing, I literally jammed it pack. It has cotton rounds, all my toothpaste, like a hundred makeup wipes or more, tanning drops, hairspray, a loofah, a travel size face wash. I think that's it for this thing. This side has both of my shampoo and conditioners, my dry shampoo, my sunscreen, Q-tips, my face lotion, razors, razor heads. Here I have hair ties, my gua sha, a face mask, and like a face scrubber. And then over here is like another huge toiletry bag, guys. I have way too much stuff. I got some nail polish, travel size toothpaste, eye cream. These are like my hair stuff, so my hair oils, my like leave-in conditioner. 
my EOS shaving cream. I've got like facial toner, perfume, my face uh, wash, cleanser, my body wash at the very bottom. Last little bag is what I'm gonna bring with me on the plane. This has some like travel size minis, a lip mask, a mini toothpaste, a mini moisturizer, um, some face wipes, deodorant, and then my toothbrush at the bottom. Quick little update, I couldn't close it, so I literally did a hair tie. That is taking up so much space. Um, I've just been kind of shoving stuff in, so I put my hair turban right there. This is like all of my makeup and makeup brushes. And then I'm gonna slide like my scrub -a bag in here as well. Under this packing cube, I was able to fit my over the door hanger but I really am running low on space and I haven't even touched my snacks. Okay, it is literally dark and I'm still not done packing. Um, I have just been kind of like shoving things in certain spots. I have my vitamins and here I added like an eye mask and here I put like a silk pillowcase um, and I just put in my MacBook and my um, iPad in there. I'm packing in my carry-on all my important medicines and then this folder has literally everything important. It has all my class syllabi, it has like my passage ticket, my visas, paperwork that I need for my prescriptions, different things like that. So I'm making sure that that goes in to my carry-on. Sorry, my dog's barking. Um, so that I'll have it at easy access to it like when I land and get to Dubai. My dog is staring <laughs> at me, but I successfully squished this little travel blanket. It's also like a little pillow into here. So I still have some more room to pack, but that fit perfectly in here. A little update, I added some of my power cords and these two things. I've added two journals in here, my adapters, another like charger. And so I think I'm pretty much done with this bag besides like the pockets I'm gonna put a few things in. But now it is time for like books, snacks, and anything like small over there I wanna include. I'm gonna take some of these Ziploc bags and start making some snack bags and see how far we can get. First up, I'm gonna do some flavored drink powders. I have some powdered Alani New, some Spark, and then I also bought some like strawberry lemonade, like Crystal Light. Somehow, literally by the grace of God, just stuffed all of those in there, which is super awesome. I fit another bag of like granola bars and fruit snacks and now I've literally just resorted to like stuffing. This is so ratchet, but I'm literally just like stuffing fruit snacks because it's still zips okay i was able to fit like a big bag of chips this bag has like peanut butter crackers granola minis and some more fruit bars and then i put some candy in here i got peanut m ms and nerd clusters and then i was able to put a bottle of nutella down there as well okay i just weighed both of my bags it's the next day i like squeezed some last minute things in here and they're around 55 pounds if my little thing was accurate um i added in like a hairbrush my glasses some books in here um this guy is literally jammed pack. I think I weighed this one. It was like 20 pounds. I put some card games in the front. Squeezed this little iPhone tripod into my bag. So I'm glad that fit. And then I was able to put a hair tool in my carry-on, a hair tool in my checked bag. And then I squeezed my fake tan in here as well. Any wise words of wisdom? Lots of them. Turn the camera off is my first one. Dad. Hello everyone. Um, kind of jumping ahead a little bit. I'm actually on the boat now with my bags. They just got delivered to my room, so now I'm gonna unpack. But that was my semester at sea packing video. I'm gonna try to leave links below of some of the things I ordered from Amazon and different places to help with packing. But I wanted to show you guys really quick two things that I put on my bag, or two or three things I put on my bag that I highly recommend doing for a semester at sea. Okay, the first thing is these luggage straps. I got two like hot pink ones to put on my bag and a lot of people on semester at sea will have like same looking luggage so i definitely recommend getting some of these and then going along with that get some of these like tsa approved locks for your bag when traveling that way you can see your bag from far away and won't have to struggle finding it last little piece of advice i'll give you guys they didn't really like search our bags i'm sure they put them through like metal detectors or whatnot but I never had to show paperwork for like my heat tools, even though they're, they are auto shut off. So they don't really search your bags as much as you would expect for coming on the voyage. Um, but obviously follow the rules, but just a little tip. They don't like take everything out of your bag and search it yet. 